I think I'll always prefer console gaming over PC gaming. I only really like to play games on PC when it's emulating older console games. For new games, I'll just go with console. 60 FPS is enough for me. PC gaming is better than consoles. Anything you can do on a console, you can do on a PC. The only time I recommend console over PC is multiplayer games because sweats and cheating. Yeah, I didn't say it wasn't better. Just saying I'll most likely always prefer console gaming. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some people here are acting like you're insulting PC gaming or something. It kinda is insulting though. If you already have a gaming PC, I don't know why you would prefer consoles besides exclusives. How is that insulting? The dude just enjoys the console experience more. But how can you enjoy it more? Explain. If you prefer controller, there's Bluetooth on PC. Online multiplayer is free. Epic and Steam give good sales and free games. I mean, how? How are you flabbergasted at the fact that other people have preferences? Preferences of what? Consoles are inferior in every single way. You can use controllers on PC. The only bad thing about PC gaming is price and lack of knowledge. See, so yeah, I tweeted my opinion on Twitter recently, and I know that's usually a bad idea, but I did it anyway. And you know what, my Twitter followers, you know, we all understand what opinion is, okay? For the most part. So let's break this down, all right? And let's talk about what I actually mean about why I prefer console gaming. All right, so PC gaming is better than consoles. Anything you can do on a console, you can do on a PC, all right? So if you look at my original tweet, you'll see that I never actually said that console gaming is better than PC. I'm fully aware that the PC and using right now can run all my console games way better than my consoles can. There's multiple reasons why I prefer console over PC gaming, which we'll get into later, but they just include like physical games that are like building a game collection and you just, you're not going to get a Kirby 64 PC physical release, you know. That's not a full thing though, because I could always emulate the game and still build up my collection. I just like consoles, looking forward to what the next generation is going to be, looking into the history of them, the designs of them. I, ju I just like consoles. I just think they're interesting. It is kind of insulting though. If you already have a gaming PC, I don't know why you would prefer consoles besides exclusives. So I do have a gaming PC. It's about two and a half years old now. It's got decent specs, so it can make my games run and play better on my console. It can make them look a lot better. Like I said, I like physical releases. Um, I, I, I'm not going to go and buy a game and then buy it again on PC just to play it. And my PC, I didn't actually buy it to play games. I bought it just for videos. And it does a very good job of that. It renders videos extremely fast and it can do all the stuff I needed to do. Like I said in my original tweet, I do use it for gaming, but it's usually just to emulate older games. You know the ones that I would like to get physically, but are on eBay for about £500? The funniest part about this tweet is, it kind of is insulting though. What? You're insulted that I just like my PS5? You can't fathom that 60 frames is, is enough for me and that anything more than that just isn't really noticeable or not as noticeable between 30 and 60. I don't need the highest specs to be satisfied. Just a nice 60 frames is good enough for me. Plus, I like sometimes playing on my TV and just lying in bed. I don't want to be at my desk all the time. But, but how can you enjoy it more? Explain. If you prefer controller, there's Bluetooth on PC. Online multiplayer is free. Epic and Steam give good sales and free games. I mean, how? I'm just interested in consoles. I'm just interested in the history of them, the sales of them, how they perform against each other, the games that come out on them, stuff like that. They, they all have unique designs and it's fun to look forward to the next one and see what they're going to do. It goes for handouts as well because people, you know, would rather emulate Nintendo games, DS games or whatever. Preferences of what? Consoles? inferior in every way. Yeah, I did, um, I think I did clear that up in my second tweet, my follow-up tweet. I, I, I'm aware that they're not as good. I still prefer them. I don't know what to tell you, my friend. I, I, I've already told you what I've, what I've had to tell. The only bad thing about PC is price and lack of knowledge. Well, you just cut, you, you just explained it yourself. For a lot of people, price is the big thing. Mine I got for my videos, really, and it was one of the best purchases I could have made for my channel. But let's say I didn't make videos and I didn't need it uh, for that. I could have gotten probably my Switch, PS5 and Xbox for the price of that. And if you want to get a gaming PC, like of course you can get a, a cheaper one, but um, you're going to want to invest in it and make it good. If you're going to make it better than a console experience at least. I get that PC gaming doesn't need to be expensive, just that you ask a lot of PC gamers how much their PCs were worth, they're worth a couple thousand. Because I guess the goal is to you know, get a better experience. The second thing he said is lack of knowledge. And yeah, I'm not very knowledgeable with PCs. I know the very basics and that's about it. So for a lot of people, it's more appealing to just go out, buy a PS5, which is impossible to do. But when there is stock, it's more appealing for people to just go out, buy a PS5 and that's it, just plug it in. I'm glad, I'm so glad that I didn't build my PC myself. Why am I glad? 
Well, just watch this video by Kadikarus. He ran into so many issues that I just know that if I tried to do this myself without the help of a, of a friend that knows how to do this thing, I would have ran into more issues than he did. He ended up spending, I think, over 10 grand trying to fix that shit. I'm not even bothering with it. Like, I'm not even going to attempt it because I just know it will end in disaster. So I just use one of those services. I got to pick the parts. They just built it for me and sent it. Simple. That's what I like. I'm not pissing around with adult Lego. Maybe I will in the future, but uh, I'm not risking. I'm not risking breaking anything. I'm not risking having to replace certain parts. But yeah, so I hope this video was enough for you to understand why I prefer console gaming. I didn't really... I guess I touched on a few things I didn't in the tweets, but short recap, uh, physical games, I like buying them. PC has them, but they're not nearly as abundant, and when it comes to console exclusive, they're non-existent. I don't require max graphic capability or anything like that. I just enjoy consoles and their unique designs and all that kind of stuff. Having consoles set up in my right. Why am I explaining this? Also, I've got nothing against PC gaming, right? If you prefer having a digital library of games, if you prefer having the max settings on a game, then 100% a PC is way better for you. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you all in my next video.